So here's the first setup of my quad rotor. It's just a simple fixing of the motors to see how does it works. And all of the ESCs have been configured so far as uh, electronically there. And I have an Arduino over here, which uh, just gives the PWM the same PWM to all of the motors. It's like they're getting the same signal over here. You can see it over here that they're sharing the same signal. And at idle, it's idle. It's running at uh, 0.1 ampere. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just unplug and plug the battery again so we can hear the initialization. So. Disconnected now and then I can connect it again here. So the first beep is the welcome note, and then it beeps three times, meaning that I'm using a three cell ba lithium polymer battery 2200 milliampere 20C, so I can draw at maximum 44 ampere. And uh, this slider here helps me to increase the speed. Actually, it's working like a throttle on a remote control. So as I'm, I can, as I'm increasing it over here, the motors will start spinning. Uh, right now we have two of them spinning, and that's because uh, the setting of the other ones is just a little bit low. They need a little bit more push on the throttle to start spinning and then right now they are doing it. And now this is running at 1 ampere which is sort of like a pretty low value for it but it still is producing a pretty good amount of thrust. I haven't measured the thrust with uh, four of the motors on the frame because the frame is not fixed on the middle but uh, that's gonna happen in sometime soon. But uh, the nice thing is that I can increase the speed and And obviously the current will increase too. I kind of have the feeling that I can fly this thing right at 3 ampere. But that, that's just the feeling I have to try it. So I can go up. And there are noises coming at certain speed indicating that uh, the frame is sort of like shaking. I don't know what's that. But hopefully I'm going to get over it. And then... Actually, having a pretty good amount of thrust. That's the maximum that the multimeter can read, by the way. And then it's sort of like visible the amount of bending of the uh, because of the amount of thrust. So you can see slightly that it's uh, going upward slightly. Yeah, that's it so far.